It's Main Street Station. Where are we? Downtown Richmond, Virginia, 1500 East Main Street to be exact. It's one of the top 10 stops in historic Richmond. This is stop nine. Welcome to Richmond's Main Street Station. What does it say? 1901, travel across America with me. Our story starts in 1901. Railroad stations were a declaration, a statement to the world of a city's worth. Find a parking spot and be sure to pay. I think the first hour is free, but you do need to register that you're parking there. I-95 was completed through Richmond in 1958. And since that time, as you're passing by the third floor of this masterpiece, you have to be amazed and go, what is this place? Well, what's even more exciting is it's still a working train station and you can go through it. Ask for a private tour. And if you're fortunate, someone will be able to do that. We went early one Sunday morning and took our own self-guided tour. The plaza across the street from the Main Street Station opened in 2007. And it includes parking for the rail commuters to Northern Virginia and DC, plus Greyhound bus service. The Philadelphia firm of Wilson, Harrison, Richards created a grand metropolitan milestone in the heart of Richmond, Virginia. That's one way to put it. The original train station was operated by the Seaboard Railway. You will find this structure in the parking lot area. The Main Street Station is considered Second Renaissance Revival style or Neo Renaissance Revival style. It's neither Greek nor Gothic, trending towards Italian style. This is one of five remaining stations in the United States from that era. I am so glad it's being taken care of, but it's been through quite a few disasters, including flooding and fires. Fires are a common theme through most older structures history. Let's go in. This is the grand entrance. Welcome to the Richmond Main Street Amtrak Station. This is an active train station. The morning we went, we were informed that we could not go behind the curtain. I didn't know what they meant by saying we couldn't go behind the curtain. Sounded like something from the Wizard of Oz. But I guess that when we would see the curtain, we knew we couldn't go behind there. They were having a special event. This structure has become one of the grandest venues for special occasions in all of Richmond. There are some amazing furniture pieces to be found, including this sofa, chair, I'm not sure what you would call this. This is a replica that was made from photographs that were taken around 1910. There are display cases filled with all types of information, boarding passes, brochures, and photographs about the history of this train station operated by Seaboard Railway. When you visit, take time to peruse all the great items in these display cases, including conductor's hats and memorabilia from anniversaries of the station, like this one from its 90th anniversary. It is fabulous to look at all the old photographs. There is a list of the objects and photographs. For example, on the left section, a photograph of the Main Street Station circa 1960, a CNO timetable 1940, a Seaboard Railway ticket folder, a Seaboard Railway train schedule from 1943, a CNO light switch, a CNO spittoon, and a CNO caboose oil lamp. Lots of great things to look at. So be sure to take time and read the list and look at the items. And what does CNO stand for? Well, of course, Chesapeake and Ohio lines. Let's go upstairs. We went up the stairs that are located behind the Virginia Welcome Center. This is a second story train station. There were, well, there still are four sets of tracks and the platform was in the middle. There was always a covering or a shed over this railway station to keep travelers out of the weather. With the transformation of the shed into a beautiful venue location, portions of the floor have been exposed and covered with glass so that we can see the old tracks. And about looking behind that curtain, what's behind that curtain? This gorgeous room. It's called the Head House. It includes two rooms that once served as a ladies' parlor and a cafeteria. And now it is a mini museum and is used for special venues. The day that we were there, that's where the curtain was and we couldn't go behind the curtain. So we were not able to see the head house. On this side of the curtains, we were able to see the railroad seating. It is a replica from the seating that was found in the railway station around the period of 1910. And this is where current customers sit while waiting for a train. 
Have you subscribed yet? If not, could you please subscribe? And if you have, thank you. Remember I talked about flooding and fires? Well, Hurricane Agnes caused the James River to overflow, flooding the lower level of the station in 1972. And in 1975, Amtrak just called it quits and canceled service to this historic location. But then, only four years later, the Main Street Station was damaged by fire, and in 1983, the Main Street Station was damaged by fire again. It remained vacant for eight years until 2003, when the city, state, and federal governments partnered with Amtrak to revitalize. It was renovated between 2008 and 2017. The shed, as it is called, was redone inside, including glass walls and the pine ceiling. Now the current tracks are the two tracks on either side of the shed. Visitors exit the glass doors to reach the trains. As you walk through the shed, you can see the tracks and the rail lines that remain in the flooring. And you're wondering why do they use the two rail lines on the exterior of the shed? It's because when the area below there was transformed into a mall, the iron supports were cut. So now the tracks cannot support trains. That's all kind of sad, isn't it? Rail service commenced again at Main Street Station in 2003. This is Richmond Main Street, Amtrak. It is a commuter station with early morning departures and late evening arrivals for a total of eight arrivals on the two tracks. In 2018, Main Street Station began to thrive as an active train station and one of the most important venues in Greater Richmond. With the addition of the shed, as I mentioned, the glass walls and the pine ceiling, it is a popular place for venues, for large events, conventions. There are a host of events that are held throughout the year and on most weekends. Anyone need to go to the restroom? Well, we need to exit this way. And when you're downtown, when you're touring around, locating a restroom is always a smart thing to do. This is the area that used to be the mall. This portion of the station shed was redeveloped in 1983. It opened in 1985 as a mall, but closed in 1987. It will soon be a museum and visitor center. That will be great. Please subscribe. One of the areas underneath the shed is an area concentrating on information about Lumpkin's Jail. And that is stop eight on my top 10 stops in historic Richmond, Virginia. It's the historic burial ground and Lumpkin Slave Jail preservation site. When you return to your car in the parking lot, keep an eye out for this sign where it says Lumpkin's Jail and Devil's Half Acre. Make this a double hitter and you'll get to see the back of the Seaboard Railway Building. Where have you taken a ride in a passenger train? Tell me in the comments below. Plans are currently underway for a high-speed rail service from Main Street Station to metropolitan downtowns up and down the Eastern Corridor. Don't forget about my top 10 stops in historic Richmond. I will be doing a video soon on Capitol Square. It's stop one. Stop two is the White House of the Confederacy. I have recently posted my video on Hollywood Cemetery. It's stop three. Hollywood of the East. And stop four is Maggie L. Walker National Historic Site. A woman of triumphs and tragedies. Watch that video. And then there's stop five, the Poe Museum. Excellent place to go. I want to encourage you to watch the video on the Poe Museum. And stop six was the Chimborazo Medical Museum. It's part of the Richmond National Battlefield Park. It's a Civil War treasure. Stop seven is St. John's Church. Give me liberty or give me death. And the Main Street Station is our stop nine, and stop 10 is the Egyptian building. You won't want to miss that video. No, I'm not putting them up in order. That would be too normal. I'm wanting to put them up out of order because, because this changes everything. It's transforming our local transit system, our social scene, our tourism experience, and our downtown. The revitalization of Main Street Station isn't just changing a building, it's changing our city flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip.